Good morning, children. Welcome back to your next English class. This is Anupur, ma'am. See, this was running your workbook exercise, and the last day uh, till here it was happened. It was about the grammar. What was that? Uh, to find out the mistakes in each and every sentences, right? Okay. See the next part. Replace the words or phrases in bold with clauses without changing the meaning. Before it, you got some phrases and clauses, and you told to make a sentence, right? And now, what do you get? Do you get? You will get a group of words, means or uh, some phrases in bold letters, okay, with clauses, without changing the meaning. You have to make the sentence. Means you have to replace these phrases with the clauses, okay. You have to elaborate this group of words with some clause, but you can't change the meaning. Okay, use the words within brackets, and now you think, ma'am, we uh, we will use which words, right? So there are some words in the bracket. Which words you will use in the replacement of these words? means this phrase okay make any necessary changes to the sentences and rewrite them but if you think that yes there is some necessary to change you can do it and you have to rewrite the sentence okay basically whatever what changes should be there when if you make a clause there so there you have to give a subject you have to give a verb okay <clears throat> these are very easy don't worry see this is the man with the information okay this is the man with the information use who that means you can understand there is one man who has some information with him am i right that means you can understand and see the tense is it is in the present tense so you have to use the present tense present form Okay, this is the man with the information that there, that means there is one man who has some information with him. But and you have to use who this word uh, just uh, against this phrase. And listen, what you have to do? Who this is one subject. Okay, and uh, if you uh, read the clause before it, so you can understand. There are three kinds of clauses: nominal clause, means noun clause; next adjective clause; next uh, adverb, adverbial clause. Okay, so in adjective clause, uh, you can use after the man, after the subject, after the noun. You have to use this uh, this word who to definite means to modify this person. Okay, so just use these words. Uh, <coughs> with the uh, meaning and uh, with a structure okay so this is the man who has some information with him this is a present tense you have to make it in present tense if the sentence should be if the sentence would in past tense then you will use past tense okay i am giving you just example now it is depend on depending on you how you will make it okay go to the next sentence please call me as soon as possible use can you have to use can this word instead of possible please call me as soon as possible now you will use it okay next i am saddened by the idea of living use that of living in the place of this phrase you have to use that I am saddened by the idea of living. I am saddened by the idea that dot 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 dot. Now you will use. Okay. I don't tell you. I want to see whatever you can do, and then definitely on the Zoom class I will discuss all all this. Or if you send me these answers in comment box or in WhatsApp, then definitely I will give you feedback. but please do it next the arched uh, gate is the entrance use where 
द आर्च गेट इज द एंट्रेंस द आर्च गेट इज द एंट्रेंस मीन्स यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड वेर दिस इज एडवर्ड वी आर क्लॉज वाई वेन वेन एवर यू विल सी दैट देर इज मैं सम प्लेस सम टाइम okay these are called adverbial clause this is you can understand the entrance entrance means you can understand that is a place and where this word also mentioned a place okay now try to solve it next nowadays there are very few postmen use who nowadays there are few postmen use who means in the replacement of postmen you have to use who that is a subject right so now how we will make it you just try to do then definitely i will i will be there for you okay okay go to the next portion yes there are some questions see wait yeah what does a dictionary communicate to do you use dictionary look up the words in a bold uh, in the dictionary and answer the question there are some questions 1 2 3 4 5 in a five sentences five questions there are some words in a bold word we will get this all meaning inside the dictionary okay what is the use of yeast in making bread you know i think what is yeast it is a uh, common thing which is used in the time of making bread so what is the use of yeast first of all you have to know what is yeast it is a baker's yeast you know bakers baker's yeast is a common name for the strains of yeast commonly used in baking bread and bakery products this this are this yeast is uh, used in the bakery products also serving as a leavening agent which causes the bread to rise to rise means expand or become lighter and softer okay by converting the fermentable sugars presents in the dough into carbon dioxide and ethanol okay you will get this all in the dictionary or you can find out um, in the uh, dictionary and in the google also you can find out the meanings okay or you can upload a, a dictionary in your mobile uh, then you can find out all the meanings i think you all know the procedure okay so go to the next question now it is uh, your duty to write down the answer okay i told you about it something okay next which language does the abbreviation r s v p come came from r s v p it is an what do i say it is a an initialism derived from the french phrase okay french phrase uh the phrase is like répondecil vers plate you will get this in the dictionary okay and it so what is what does it mean it means uh, to respond please respond to require confirmation of an invitation this is the meaning okay next what is a communique what is a communique communique an official announcement or statement especially one made to the media okay what is a dt dt is a short and simple song okay next if you were standing in a in the area apron where would you be if you were standing in the area apron i think you know the meaning of apron it is a all of you say ma'am it is a cloth like right but see the question here in the area apron area is there let me you can understand this is a uh, some area on some place so apron area apron means there should be some other meaning also like a hard surface area on an air field used for parking air clip aircraft okay in the uh, in the place of air field there a hard surface area should be there and that is used for the 
parking the aircraft okay so if you will be if you were standing in this kind of place so where would you be okay now i think you can realize okay next a review is a report of a book play or film is written to tell readers what the work is about gives the reviewer's opinion of the work helps the reader desi uh, decide whether the whether to read or see the work right here is a short review of gerald gerald's book my family and other animals what is a review review is a report of a book or play or some film it is written to tell readers what the work is about okay what the work is about what the book is about what okay gives the reviewer's op opinion of the work and helps the reader why what to decide whether to read or see the work right here is a short review of gerald gerald's book my family and other animals the sentences in the review are mixed up rearrange them correctly rewrite the paragraph see here the family made many friends on the island and he talks of those friends essence is uh, it is a book that can be read again and again and enjoy a fresh each time so what is your duty you will read this passage okay and already it is told the sentences in the review are mixed up rearrange them correctly and rewrite the paragraph rearrange them correctly and rewrite the paragraph here okay if you had asked the reviewer to grade the book out of 5 how many marks do you think she or he would have given okay and next one another thing is there similar thing see read the short review of gerald gerald's book in exercise m means uh, this this is exercise m right okay. first you have to rearrange this all correctly and rewrite the paragraph then you have what have to do then you read that rearranged paragraph okay what you write write a similar review on a book of a book that you have enjoyed reading now what is your duty you will write a review of a book whatever you have read and you have enjoyed that okay so this is your homework today and uh, please complete it next day i will start this uh, second chapter unit 2 okay till then do it solve this and keep watching my video okay thank you so much bye bye